Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Data editor features may come in handy for specialists working with large amounts of data. Today, we will tell you about one of these features, which allows you to colorize certain values in your table. The hero of our channel, Lewis, works with a large number of invoices on a daily basis. To quickly find the desired values in a large table, he can use row colorizing. This time, he needs to make an organized presentation for his boss. To do this, Lewis only wants to highlight cells containing payments in the $10 to $26 range that were received from customers in Canada and the USA. Let's see how he can do this in just a few clicks. Lewis needs to right-click on any cell in the data grid and go to View Format, Row Colors. In the window that opens, he chooses the Total column and clicks on the Add button. To visualize the increase of the values in rows by the payment size, he can apply the gradient. Lewis sets the Range Gradient checkbox, enters the minimum and the maximum values, and selects two colors for them. It's possible to apply a gradient for the background and or for the text in cells. If Lewis doesn't want to color the whole row, he can check the Apply Colors to this column only box. After adding the necessary settings, our hero clicks the OK button. He can now see a smooth transition of colors in his table from the minimum to the maximum value. It's possible to combine the colorization of different columns in one table. Since Lewis is only interested in payments from customers in Canada and the USA, he can add a color setting for them. To do this, he selects the Billing Country column, clicks the Add button, enters USA in the value field, and sets the color. He then repeats these steps for Canada, but chooses a different background color. After Lewis has shown his boss the finished presentation, he can undo the settings he made. To do this, he needs to once again go to View Format, Row Colors, select the column in the right field, and click the Delete button. He can also do this by right-clicking on a cell with colorization and choosing View Format, Clear Color 4. Now you and Lewis know one more way to customize the data grid for better data perception. You can combine it with the colorization settings that we have told you about in our previous video. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.